हेलो टीम वेलकम टू माय सेशन ऑन कॉफी विद प्रब एंड टुडे वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सिक्योरिटी मॉडल पार्ट थ्री आई ऑलरेडी कवर्ड पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू इन विच आई कवर्ड अबाउट द बेल्ला एंड बीवा मॉडल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ब्रियोनैश एंड क्लर्क विल्सन मॉडल दिस मॉडल्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर सी डोमेन थ्री If you're new to my YouTube channel do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos My name is Prabh Nair for more information you can refer my LinkedIn profile So without wasting a time let's start with the first part Which model improves BBA which is focus on integrity by focusing on integrity that transaction level and addressing three primary integrity role in a commercial environment okay so first keyword is biba which is focus on integrity integrity three primary integrity role and commercial environment see biba and bella if you see in my previous video focus on department of defense and now they talking about the first commercial which is basically used in a commercial which is mean a private enterprise so option a bella padula but bella padula focus on confidentiality if i write down here Biba basically focus on integrity. Clark Wilson was introduced for extending the Biba model in a commercial environment for integrity, which is very close. And Brior Nash is basically Chinese wall, which prevent the conflict of interest. So if you go by the statement here, it look like three Clark Wilson is is the answer. But before going to understand that, there's a small snacks for you. this is the exam pointers that you need to understand from the exam point of view clark wilson model extended integrity of biba focus on commercial application focus on separation duty and they have a three rules here like prevent data modification by unauthorized party prevent unauthorized data modification by authorized party and maintain the internal and external consistency now what is the clark wilson say that we have a program sorry we have a subject we have a program and we have a object any subject who wish to access it need to go through a program to access the object so one person will not perform end to end transaction we have a group of three people here to complete that particular transaction that is why it's a prevent data modification by unauthorized party because three people are involved prevent unauthorized data modification by authorized party because there is a dependency of person 1 on person 2 and person 3 to complete the transaction and by this way we maintain the consistency so any point of time the question talking about consistency separation of a duty commercial application and integrity remember the answer is clark and wilson model because it was the extended version of biba let's move to the next coffee shot thank you okay which model provide separation of duty again where the power of the authorized subject were limited by another subject it mean one person has a dependency on other and given the power to evaluate and complete the transaction so keyword is transaction second keyword is limited and third keyword is separation duty i already told you about the exam pointer so bella focus on confidentiality biba focus on integrity but here the subject is directly communicate with the object but in the clark wilson we introduce a program which limit the function of a subject brier nash is basically chinese wall so this is the wall we have whatever happening here will not be conflict with here and whatever happening here they will not able to see anything here so example like this is the auditor and this is basically the implementer so if implementer implement the control auditor will not able to implement the control they will able to audit so it is same like auditor is the one can audit but cannot implement and implementer is the one who implement but can't audit another example is a cloud so in a cloud what happen we have a tenant 1 and tenant 2 so there is a clear segregation between that so tenant 1 will not able to access the tenant 2 data and tenant 2 will not able to access the tenant 1 data because of conflict of interest so d is more about conflict of interest but the question here they talking about the evaluate the complete transaction and second keyword is separation duty they talking about a same process instead of two different organization process that is why the answer is c c for charlie let's move to the next coffee shot thank you okay so which model is primary focus on well defined transaction and separation duty again so answer is basically clark wilson model because we have already covered this point so i don't want to waste time here so option is c for charlie let's move to the next coffee shot 
सो विच सिक्योरिटी मॉडल प्राइमरली एड्रेस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट सो एज ए सेड ब्रियोरनेश इज बेसिकली यूज फॉर कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एज ए सेड सो वी हैव अ डेवलपमेंट इन्वायरमेंट and this is the chinese wall we have brio nash is also called chinese wall and then this is the production environment so developer will develop the application developer will develop the application within this environment and when it is roll out to the production they don't have access to that where the production team has access to that and they manage but production team will not have access to the development environment because they will misuse their power and try to alter that and they will misuse the power they alter that so i don't want the developer to carry the same permission over the development and production environment so this is called as a conflict of interest and that is why it is part of the brier nash model answer is d d for delta so any question talking about conflict of interest multi layer conflict of interest answer is brier nash model which ensure the person who have a same skill set will not able to perform the similar function of different organization okay so that is basically called d let's move to the next coffee shot thank you okay consultant now has information about company a data she later want access to the account information of the company a it mean we have a company a data and their company a account details this time two things are there this is perfectly acceptable because if you have a information of a company a you can have access to the company a account data so by this you can able to cross verify the information that's why they say this is perfectly acceptable because bank a and company a belong to a different conflict of interest because there's no misuse of things because they the the ca or user want to verify the information by checking a financial data with the accurate data of the company however suppose she want access to the other company b data set in that case the request must be refused since the desired data set company b conflict with the one currently owned by the company a definitely they have the set of information and if we give them other set of source of information that's a conflict of interest because both data is basically belong to different company and he might misuse the power she might misuse the power so we want to achieve some kind of a solution to address this issue so bella padula basically talk about the confidentiality okay by which we are restricting the top secret user to access the low secret or low secret user to uh, prevent from access the high secret but it is more about more about higher subject to the lower subject and all that but here they talking about they have a same set of information but belong to other companies or other branch so they want a clear segregation there diva focus on integrity clerk wilson talk about separation duty but that is limited to one process only so only option which is left here is called as a brier nash model so we can apply the brier nash model so whenever the consultant log in he can see or she can see this set of information if they have this set of information they will not have this set of information and if they have this set of information they cannot have this set of information because by this way they have a complete control over the information that is why the answer is d for delta brier nash model let's move to the next coffee shot thank you okay with security model address eight primitive protection it mean persist rights called as a commands that subject can execute to have a effect on other subject or object now this is a very tricky question because we uh, suppose you you never heard about this eight primitive protection so in bella pudula i never heard so i eliminate clerk wilson i never heard about this eight specific thing i talk about you know separation duty it is okay so c removed brier nash model is conflict of interest so it or talk about layers so only thing which is left is gram denin model so whenever you get such kind of a question you need to remove those option first in which you are very confident that you never heard about that so bella podolo never talk about eight clark wilson never talk about eight brier nash never talk about the eight so only model is basically left is gram and denin model because in that model we talk about the eight conditions okay so whenever the question talking about eight primitive action answer is gram denin model next move to the next coffee shot with security model primary address three parts set of objects set of subjects and set of right uh if the question talking about set of objects with program and subject then answer is basically clerk wilson because that is the point we have but here the question specifically talking about object subject and rights 
I never heard in the Bella Padula because Bella Padula talk about rules, no read up and no write down. Clerk Wilson talk about the SOD, but in that they talk about subject, program, and object. But question is not talking about program here. The question talking about right sir, right. So I never heard in the Clerk Wilson Brio Nash talk about conflict of interest. The only option is basically left is Graham Denin model. That's why I'm going with the B as a answer. If you find this video useful, do share in your network. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. And do let me know your you what is the next video you want in the comment box. I will try my best. If time permit, I will make the single video. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.